I'm Sharon, and this is episode 323 of the Knit Style Podcast. Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode 323. I am so glad that you joined me today. I always forget to say this in the beginning, but it would be awesome if you enjoy my content, if you could give this video and others you've watched a big thumbs up. That would be amazing. And I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. I would love to get more growth <clears throat> to this channel. Sorry, I'm recording in the morning, which is unusual for me. I usually record later in the afternoon, but the week kind of got away from me. Anyway, if you would like to subscribe, that would be amazing as well. So thank you in advance. So yeah, it's been a crazy couple of weeks like we all have this time of year. And moving forward, I think I'm going to go with a every two week schedule um, for the foreseeable future. But I'll let you guys know what if things change in that area. You know, it's just it seems to be there's a lot, there's a lot, you know, you all know. <laughs> so, yeah, but things are good. Um, busy in a good way. And I have a lot to show you today. So, let's get right to it. Shop update. Someone in the comments a few weeks ago suggested to me or asked me if I could repeat my... Um, kitty cat color collection and I thought that was an amazing idea because I haven't dyed those colors in a very long time and they're a little bit new and tweaked for 2023 so thank you I, I'm sorry I don't have your name offhand um, who commented that but thank you um, for commenting that and that inspired this week's collection I started out with five with four new color well not new four reimagined colors that I've done before but I just tweaked them a little bit for this year and one staple color and I did a mini skein set but before I show you that I want to show you this week's bag and yarn and oh my goodness so beautiful I just love how this came out so this is the bag which is appropriate for this week's, actually one of the colors I dyed looks a lot like this. So the, I might have had that in my head, but I was dying it, we'll see. Okay, so anyway, so this is the yarn that matches the bag. And it's just this beautiful garden color. I'm gonna call this Kitties in the Garden. My kitty loves, well, no, I shouldn't say that. My cat loves to be outside if we're outside. You've seen my cat, Thomas, <laughs> if you're new here. I have a beautiful um, white spotted tabby male, neutered male that I found in my backyard. But he likes to be mostly inside. So anyway, kitty's in the garden. Such a pretty bag, yarn combo, love. And the bag is sewn by my partner, Donna. She does such a beautiful do job. Her shop is Donna's Designs Shop. She has lots of bags in that shop. So if you're in need of a bag, um, there is a link in the description box down below. And um, here's the inside of the bag. Here is Donna's business card. And she's on Etsy. And yeah, I just, I love, 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 love how this came out, you guys. Okay, so moving on to kitty colors. So I did this one. This is called I'm calling this Deep Ginger. Have you ever seen a ginger cat that just has really deep, rich colors? They're so beautiful. 
So this one is Deep Ginger. This one, Chocolate Tabby. My daughter has, my daughter and her partner have a um, more of a silvery tabby, but I have seen the more chocolatey colored ones. This is Chocolate Tabby. This would make a gorgeous sweater, and it would look really beautiful on me. <laughs> I, I may have to dye myself some, some of this. This is Russian Blue. You know those beautiful cats? They look like their fur in some lights looks blue. They're a blue-gray and they're beautiful. Russian Blue. And I've always wanted a Seal Point Siamese cat. I think they're beautiful. This is Seal Point. And yeah, if you're a neutral lover, I'm very happy with how these neutral colors came out this week. And of course, I did a mini skein set with all four of the new colors and familiar. And if you want familiar, just let me know and I'll dye you some. So here is the Deep Tabby and Seal Point and Blue, uh, Russian Blue and um, Chocolate Tabby and Familiar. This would make a beautiful um, Helen Stewart Land of Sweets cowl. If you wanted a neutrally colored cowl, you could fade it. So you could start with Russian Blue, you could go to this one and then this one, this one, yeah. You could do all sorts of things with it. So love, love how these came out. Speaking of minis, I am just about ready to dye the um, Speckle, Speckle-tastic <laughs> mini skein set that I have on my website. I'll just put a picture of the listing right here. And I'm getting ready to dye those. I'm going to start dyeing them this week. And you will have them well before the end of the month. And I still have four slots left. And um, I can add more before I start the dyeing process. So if you are interested in the Speckletastic mini skein set, um, it's on the website. It is 25 mini skeins. You don't have to wait for Advent. You can have them right now. They are mysteries, but they are not wrapped. There's no fancy wrapping or... I mean, it'll be beautifully packaged for you, but I'm not wrapping each one. There's no extras, no bag, no surprises, like extra little stitch markers or anything like that, just to keep the costs a little bit um, cheaper for you. And they are available 25 mini skeins. They're going to be all like speckle dyed, similar to this. Similar, maybe different. I don't know. There'll be speckles in all of them. And I think the price of the entire thing is $145, I think. And I don't charge tax because I don't have enough sales in each state, so I don't have to charge sales tax, so tax-free. And also, if you would like free shipping on those items, you can enter the code free ship in the description box. Oh, I have a little friend coming. He hears me talking. T speaking of kitty colors, hi, Tom. You coming to visit? You want to see the people? Where are you, bud? There he is. Tommy. Psst, psst, psst. Hey, 
bud. Let's see. Hi, baby. Let's see. So, right on cue, Tom came. <laughs> As I was saying, if you enter the code free ship in the uh, discount code box at checkout, you can get free shipping on everything that you purchase above. The minimum purchase has to be $50. So if you purchase $50 worth of merchandise, you can get free shipping. So that will include the, yes, that includes the mini skein set, obviously, since that's $145. Tom is enjoying the mini skeins. What do you think? You like the minis? No, we're not going to look at the minis. That's fine. <laughs> he is such a people cat. Oh my goodness. He... He's laying on one of my cross-stitch charts. <laughs> you know, cats love to lay on texture. So I have a cross-stitch chart that's on the floor. and I Because I had scanned it. So I'm going to... So there he is, laying on my cross stitch chart, aren't you? Mm hmm. <laughs> he's something else. But he's such a people cat. If he hears me talking, he generally will come running to see what I'm doing. <laughs> so funny. What did he do the other day that was, I can't remember, but you know, cats will mimic you and try and do, you know, what, oh, our son is really into read he loves to read and he's he's doing a lot of active reading right now like taking notes on his reading and tom will just like sit next to him and have his nose in the book <laughs> so cute anyway so that is my kitty color update for this week and i hope you guys enjoy it so before i tell you um about what I've been knitting the past two weeks. I just want to share with you what I'm wearing. I am wearing the Impressionists Mystery Knit Along by um, Helen Stewart, Curious Handmade. It was a mystery and I dyed all of the colors for this. I'm not going to take it off because I styled it and I don't want to do it again. <laughs> so anyway, this is the Impressionists Mystery Knit Along by Helen Stewart. And uh, I finished it in May of 2018. And the next one I want to show you is What the Fade. It is on my mannequin back there. And I finished this project also Wow, I finished this one in January of 2018. Knitting a lot of shawls back then. <laughs> I'm sort of more into sweater knitting now and sock knitting, but that's okay. I have knit, I knit that beautiful hap shawl. Thank you for all of your kind comments about my hap shawl. I love that shawl. And I want to finish my second hap that I have on the needles. Not quite yet. Before next winter, I want to have that one finished. So let me show you what I've been working on this past two weeks. Actually, this project is, for me, I am not the fastest knitter in the world. Um, but I am persistent. So I do get a lot of things done because I tend to be monogamous. I mean, I have whips, but... Once I start on something, I tend to work on it until it's finished. I do that with stitching, too. Um, and here is my latest. This, this project is Marled Mania by Stephen West. And I finished the yoke. So this is the front. Tried it on. And it fits really beautifully. It looks like a blob. I mean, it's... Okay, so it's ribbed, so it's, you know... <laughs> it's really weird. So, this is the front that I'm showing you. 
and it's got short rows, which is nice. I tried it on. The neck comes down really nicely. It, it's nice and str I like the ribbing. I'd like to make another yoke like this, just the kind of like a plain one. Um, it's really great because it, it really, it fits you. It's kind of like, even I knit it kind of a bigger size and once I block it, it's going to be even bigger, but it hugs you because of the ribbing. It's, I really like it. It's an interesting fit. So I split, I split for the sleeves. That's all done. Easy, easy to knit. It's just, you cast on, you knit your collar, and then you do your increases. You do short rows. There are short rows, which are a pain, but make for a lovely fitting sweater. Um, and then you just do your yoke increases while you do the ribbing. Split for your sleeves, and then now I'm on to the fun. Well, actually, this top was pretty fun, even though it's ribbing. It was fun. I am on to the marled part, the colorful marled part. So, um, yeah, so you knit this actually in. I put it, I turned it back to the right side. This is the right side of the work. I turned it back to the right side so you can see how it's going to look. However, I'm going to turn it back. So when I'm knitting it, I have it turned inside out. So the wrong side will show. Well, not the wrong side. The um, like bumpy side will show on the right side. But anyway, here's the wrong side of the sweater. So you knit your stockinette in the round, which is so fun. And this is this is not the public side. This will be the public side. And I am just using minis. This is an advent from 2019, I think. <clears throat> and yeah, it's it's so fun. And it's going really fast. I already have almost three inches done on the body. And I knit, I think, 12 inches? I'm not sure. I'll try it on. Because <laughs> I'm short. I want to make sure it fits me fine. Um, and it's, it's amazing. It should be finished. I'm thinking... Uh, I'm, my projection is to finish it by April 30th, possibly. By the end of the month, we shall see... So after I finish this worsted weight sweater, I'm going to cast on another worsted weight sweater, and I think I'm going to knit Stoker by Isolde Teague, and I love this. So I told you I have a little knitting group with my friend Susan. Hi, Susan, if you're watching. And um, she just went to Iceland. I would love to go to Iceland. And... Stoker is probably named after a place in Iceland because Susan sent me a picture of a place that was named Stoker. So I really want to knit this sweater. And it's a, it's bottom up, which is unusual for me. I usually knit top down. And Susan's going to knit Stoker as well. And I'm going to use grays, like shades of gray. So we're going to share some yarn and... That'll be fun, too. So I'm looking forward to that. So the only other thing I've worked on in the past two weeks is my Space Wizard socks. The color is Space Wizard by Mustache. And I finished the first sock except for Kitchener. I always do the Kitchener when I finish both socks. Love these. They're so beautiful. And I have a really good way done on the second sock. So my formula is um, German twisted cast on, ribbing, two by two rib for about 15 rounds. And then a nice long cuff. It's probably
probably like 60 some odd rounds. And then I do a fish lips kiss heel. And then I do another 66 or so rounds and then toe, classic toe. So yeah, I should have a new pair of socks. I was counting up my mustache socks in my sock drawer. I have eight pairs <laughs> that I'm currently wearing and I love them. I love them. Fish lips kiss heel fits me very well. I would highly recommend it. I cannot do a tutorial for it because it is not free. So you'll have to buy it. It's only a dollar or two dollars. It's well worth it. And it's amazing. So speaking of tutorials, I am going to be inserting a tutorial on how to do the German twisted cast on right after I stop talking right now. And I'm going to be filming that in a few minutes and I'm going to insert that right here. And if you have any questions about it, you can let me know. And let me also know what other tutorials that you would be interested in. So I can't do like tutorials from paid for things like fish lips kiss heel would be a good example, but like general tutorials I can do. Like I can, I can show you how I knit color work. I knit color work very slowly in my style. <laughs> I'm a thrower. I have tried to, I know how to knit continental and I just don't like it. I'm a die-hard thrower. So my color work is slow, but I, I, I'm not knitting for money, so I'm good with that. But anyway, those are some examples. If you just let me know how you, you know, what you want to see. Okay, today we are learning the German twisted cast on. This is a variation of the long tail cast on. And I love it because it creates a very stretchy edge to your knitting. There's nothing I hate worse than an edge that does not give. So we start with a slip knot. The first stitch is a slip knot. And then I have my yarn organized by the long tail kind of coming off the front and the working yarn coming off the back. And I take the long tail and I wrap it around my thumb like so. And then I wrap the working yarn around my pointer finger and I make a kind of a V here. So we're gonna be diving with the needle in order to make this stitch. And it does take a little longer than the regular cast, um, long tail cast on, but I'm okay with that. So you take the working needle and you dive under the long tail yarn and then up over the back of the long tail yarn to create a loop. Then you dive again into that loop, making another loop. And this is the loop that people get confused by. This is not the stitch yet. You are going to create the stitch through this loop. And I'm gonna do that now by now diving behind the working yarn to pick up a loop and then I'm going to draw that loop through the middle loop to create the stitch. Then I let go of the yarn that's on my thumb, the long tail, and you've made your stitch. I'm going to do that one more, a couple more times for you. So I'm picking back up my yarn I am diving down under the long tail, then back over the back of the long tail to create that funny looking middle loop. 
that's going to make the stitch. Then I'm going to dive behind the working yarn, go through that middle loop and make my stitch and let go. I am now going to make it a third time and I'm not going to talk and hopefully it will, you will be able to see it clearly. Here we go. And that is the German Twisted Cast On. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. And happy knitting. Okay, I am going to end this video right here. It is lunchtime. And my dog is going to be crying to get his lunch. So a little sidebar story for you about Jamie. Jamie loves chicken and I eat chicken every day for lunch just like a rotisserie chicken that I get at our local, local market and um, I have chicken and I give Jamie just a, a little bit of chicken in his bowl and he knows what time it is <laughs> he knows when it's lunch time and he is usually up my butt bothering me for his chicken so he's probably down there dancing waiting for me to come down to make him his chicken so there's that i will see you in two weeks have a great beginning of spring it is rainy here but it cleared off which is amazing so yeah have a great two weeks knit something beautiful and Cheers!